Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter midway ceremony of Grow Hall and are announced in the following order.
Divisions. Counter. Marsh. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you'll see on deck or out of the view are the official photographers of Recruit Train Command. Thank you. 
division commanders, left or right, base, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I'd like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see six divisions comprised of 500 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is a review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Fireman Michael Lopez from Louisville, Kentucky. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the Triple Threat Unit on their seventh week of training, the State Flags Unit on their eighth week of training, and the Staff Unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from there right. Division one, six, nine. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Mona Thompson. Petty Officer First Class, Brody Fernison. Petty Officer Second Class, Jay Romeyer. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice A.J. Harper from Houston, Texas. Division 170. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Drew Fernison. Petty Officer First Class, John Smith. Petty Officer Second Class, James Tamer and the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Nicholas Robert from Jacksonville, Florida. Division 171. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Heather Spur. Petty Officer First Class, Aliyah Mangan. Petty Officer First Class, Keenan Allen. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Hosanna Lamusu from Pago Pago, American Samoa. Division 172. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Henry Brandt. Petty Officer Second Class, Josh Jones. Petty Officer Second Class, Elijah Stansberry. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Fireman Michael Dalpas from South Jordan, Utah. Division 173. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer, Donnie Briscoe. Petty Officer First Class, Christian Sines. Petty Officer First Class, Eric Graham. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Brian DeCumos from Seattle, Washington. Division 9-3-2. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Edwin Baker. Petty Officer First Class, Mercedes Logan. Petty Officer Second Class, Agnes Abrigan. 
and the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Fireman Michael Lopez from Louisville, Kentucky. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial sideboards, the bosun, and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Western Sector, U.S. MAPCOM, arriving.
Will the guest please rise? Priest and Art. Chaplain Stillwater will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Source of triumph, gathered here inside this room, these amazing recruits, no space for gloom. Through these long weeks of Navy boot camp, they have emerged triumphant each one a champ. Not gotten here alone, it has taken so many. RDCs, instructors, staff have helped aplenty. Folks at home too have supported and helped. The lack of their loved one ever much felt. But now together again with joy, friends are here and family ahoy. The time has been worth it, cause they're almost sailors now, defending our country, their solemn vow. Wherever they go in this world next, they can go there with pride, their abilities flexed. So allow us to celebrate these recruits we are praising in this sacred place and the world that they're raising. 
with all thanksgiving and praise. Amen. Yes, maybe see you. At this point, the command officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. Present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Good morning. Commence the review. Aye, aye, aye sir.
Station Great Lakes and Recruit Training Command. I am Commanding Officer Captain Ken Frobert. I'd like to welcome all the family and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live online from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Captain Christopher J. Carmichael, Commander, Western Sector, U.S. Military Entrance Processing Command. I would also like to acknowledge staff from our fleet sponsors, USS Exit, Essex, Sponsoring Division 171. Electronic Attack Squadron 135, sponsoring Division 172. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors and Navy commanders from around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while training here at RTC. I would also like to welcome all our veterans attending here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. For all our veterans, please stand so we can give you a round of applause. The staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, smart, and disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of training and earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a of freedom. I would like, also like to take a moment to introduce you, their family, and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly, I invite you to navigate the new journey together by learning more about your family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search Navy Boot Camp Navy Family. Check out our website online for more information about your new Navy Family resources. Today's graduates will serve as a bedrock of American Naval Forces around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who threaten. I can say with pride and just train your great graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you 500 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas, academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. Any division that excels in every phase of training and earns all flags qualifies for the Chief of Naval Operations Honor Division recognition and is awarded the CNO Honor Flag for this exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and esprit de corps, as well as the superb leadership of the division commanders. Two divisions have earned this honor today, and we congratulate them on a job exceptionally well done.
Captain Carmichael will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined in the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. For achieving the highest overall academic score during her crew training, Seaman Sophie Lehman, Division 932 from Edina, Minnesota, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Seaman Lehman receives a letter of commendation from, from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Seaman Mason Lotempio, Division 169 from Rockford, Illinois, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Lotempio is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Captain. Good morning, Captain. Airman Apprentice Struler, reporting. Airman Apprentice Max Struler, Division 170, from Grand Junction, Colorado is the winner of the United Service Organizations Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Airman Apprentice Struler is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organizations. Well done, sailor. Chicago, Illinois, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Airman Mangansay is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Olivia Cosme, Division 932 from Concord, California, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Cosme is awarded a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. It is our pleasure to recognize the review commander for today's ceremony. Throughout his training, he has exhibited great pride in naval service and has consistently demonstrated his potential as an effective leader. He has maintained a high standard of personal appearance and displayed excellent military bearing and command voice. 
Additionally, Fireman Michael Lopez, Division 932 from Louisville, Kentucky, is also the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter accommodation. Fireman Lopez, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Captain. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners.
can achieve anything. President John F. Kennedy captured service in the United States Navy best when he said, I can imagine no more rewarding a career. And any man who may be asked in this century what he did to make his life worthwhile, I think, can respond with a good deal of pride and satisfaction. I served in the United States Navy. For over a century, Naval Station Great Lakes Recruit Training Command has transformed over three million civilians into highly trained sailors. The program here has always been rigorous, demanding more from recruits than they probably thought possible. But each of them has selflessly answered the call to duty, to serve a cause greater than themselves. They have learned basic military customs and courtesies, perfected military drill, crushed numerous academic and physical qualifications, including the capstone event of battle stations. These sailors standing before you have proven themselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy sailor. Let's give these sailors a round of applause. The recruit division commanders, instructors, and staff here at Recruit Training Command have taken on the unique and honorable challenge of shaping these recruits into the finest American sailors, maintaining the Navy's highest standards. We thank them for their dedication. This amazing team has taken your son or daughter and shaped them into the sailor you see today. They have woven new habits like yes sir, yes ma'am, into their vocabulary and have reinvigorated those lost bed-making skills. Let's give the recruit division commanders and staff a round of applause. I would also like to acknowledge these sailors, families, and friends supporting the role they have played. Your effort over the years got them here. You helped shape your recruit, into a person who wanted to stand up and serve their country, who understands the Navy core values of honor, courage, and commitment. During the past 10 weeks, you have tirelessly supported them, supported their excited, trepid, and often anxiety-filled calls home. You motivated them to finish the journey, to fulfill their dreams. Without you and your support, they would not be graduating today. We now welcome you into the Navy family. Let's give all the friends and family a round of applause. <laughs> Sailors, you are about to embark on one of the most rewarding adventures of your life. You've chosen to serve your country at a time when it is most needed, when America must show a strong presence throughout the world, on the seas and in the skies. You've taken on the responsibility of defending our nation and are now prepared for that tremendous duty. You have earned not only mine, but the respect of a grateful nation. Congratulations, sailors. One more round of applause.
Rangers. And he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall out and retrieve outer garments.
gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate eight toward the train station parking lot. If your sailor is reporting to Naval Station Great Lakes for follow-on training, you will experience some waiting as your sailor checks in. As you wait, the National Museum of the American Sailor welcomes your visit. It is conveniently located just past the main gate of Naval Station Great Lakes with plenty of parking, free admission, and a helpful and friendly staff. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this, Liberty Call, Liberty Call!